Hi children, welcome back to Sunday Club. Our special guest today is Matilda. She's not been here before, she's very excited. Now, hang on, what's the matter Matilda? You're very hot. Well, it has been a hot day, hasn't it? You want an ice cream? Oh dear Matilda, you always want ice creams, don't you? Well, you're going to have to wait. I tell you what, why don't you wear your hat instead? That'll make you cooler. Okay, here's your hat. Are you any cooler? You're still hot. Well, if the hat doesn't work, how about we use a fan. Let's get it the right way round. There we are. So if I fan you like that, is that making you feel cooler? See if really, really fan hard. Is that feeling you making you feel cooler? But you still want an ice cream. Okay, well you haven't had one today yet, so you can go and have your ice cream because I'm going to tell the children that sometimes when you fan something it gets hotter that's really strange isn't it you go off and get your ice cream while i'm telling them that okay bye so children supposing you have a flame now you must never play with flames and that's not even a real flame because I'm not allowed to have flame in my flat. But supposing you imagine that's a real flame. And if I was to take my fan and I was to fan that, would it get cooler? No, it would actually grow into a big hot fire. Like that. And today, we're going to hear about somebody who wrote a letter. And that letter is in the Bible. It's in a book called To Timothy. And in that letter, it says, fan the flame. And we're gonna find out what that means. So now it's time for our story. Bye. In today's story from the Bible, a man called Timothy gets a letter from his teacher. Before we hear it, let's pray. So put your hands together. Father God, thank you that Timothy's teacher wrote to him and that we can read the letter to in the Bible. Please help us to listen well and have fun with songs and activities. Amen. Now, in Bible times, they didn't have envelopes and stamps. When you wrote a letter, you just rolled up the page tied it up and gave it to someone to deliver. It all began when Timothy was a boy. His grandma was called Lois and she loved the Lord Jesus. Grandma Lois told Timothy stories from the Bible and explained how Jesus was God's promised king. Timothy's mum was called Eunice and she was a friend of Jesus just like Grandma Lois. Timothy's mum explained how he could be Jesus' friend too for himself. Timothy loved what he heard and began to follow Jesus. His mum and grandma must have been very happy. Sometime later, when Timothy had grown up into a young man, a preacher called Paul came to town. Some of you may remember learning about Paul in Sunday Club. Everyone told Paul what a good friend of Jesus Timothy was. So Paul began to teach Timothy even more about the Bible and Jesus. He was training Timothy to be a preacher. Timothy spent a long time travelling around the world with Paul, learning how to tell people about Jesus. At last, he was ready to lead a church on his own, the same way that Richard leads us at St Anne's. Paul wasn't with him anymore, but Paul wrote him letters to help him to be a good leader. As time went on, it got to be harder and harder to stand up for Jesus. Some people didn't want to follow Jesus and they were unkind to the Christians. 
Paul was even put in prison. Poor Timothy felt like giving up. It was all too dangerous. But Paul wrote Timothy another letter from prison. And that's the letter we're going to hear about for the next few Sunday clubs. This is how Paul started his letter to Timothy. Dear Timothy, I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I'm praying for you to stay strong. Remember how you became Jesus' friend. Your grandma Lois and your mum Eunice loved Jesus so much and they helped you to become Jesus' friend too. Then I taught you how to become a preacher and lead a church. So don't give up now. Remember to keep going. When you became a Christian and a preacher, God gave you his spirit to help you, to make you powerful and loving and able to do the right thing, even when it's hard. He didn't make you scared. Paul used a picture. He said, Timothy, fan the flame. You see, when Timothy was younger, his love for Jesus had been strong like a big flame. But now it had become like a very little flame. Paul said, get your love for Jesus burning again like a big flame, the way it used to be. Fan it. Scramblers and climbers, you're still learning from your mums and dads, aren't you? And maybe your grandmas and nans and grandpas and granddads if they're friends of Jesus too. Here are pictures of some of you doing Sunday Club with your parents. Learn all you can about Jesus from your mums and dads. One day you'll need to decide for yourself whether to go on being Jesus' friends forever. It won't always be easy. You see, being Jesus' friend means telling other people the good news about him. And those other people won't always want to listen. But if you are Jesus' friend, Father God will always be with you to help you to keep going. We're learning two new songs today. Some of you may know them already. The first reminds us that God knew all about us even before we were born. He's given us families to help us to learn about Jesus and be what he wants us to be, just as he did for Timothy. The second song reminds us that when things are a bit hard for us, as they were for Timothy, God is bigger than all our difficulties. Let's pray first and then enjoy the singing. Hands together again. Father God, thank you for the grown-ups in our family who help us to join in with Sunday Club and to learn about Jesus day by day. Please help us all to get to know Jesus better so that we can keep on being his friends all our lives. Amen. <laughs>